if you're new here my name is rita and this is tea spill with rita where i talk about health lifestyle and christianity new videos drop wednesdays and sundays of every week so if this is the kind of content you would like to keep up with then click on that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in once again to survive in this world you need to be strong not just physically strong but mentally strong so if you sense your mental health is somehow declining if you sense like you're no longer feeling motivated to do anything you're no more happy like you used to be or you don't feel productive anymore then you need to watch this video till the end because today i'm going to be sharing tips on how we can improve our mental health have you tried expressing how you feel i used to have this problem a lot I have something that is bothering me but i'd rather keep it to myself because i don't want the other person to feel bad or i just want peace to reign so let's say i go to a salon and i am making my hair and the hairdresser is not actually like getting the style i want most of the time i actually just keep it to myself and be like i don't want problem but at the end of the day i go back dissatisfied i start regretting why i didn't actually speak up and say oh i don't like this hairstyle you need to change this this is not what i'm asking for that's just a very very little example but you know you know how you can relate to this so you can utilize it in what area whatever area of your life so when you get to express how you feel say what's on your mind you notice that you're relieving off that tension and you definitely will feel a lot better after you do this hug someone most of the time what we just need is a hug you know as human beings we need to connect to people spend time with people so ask yourself who are those people in your life that once you are around them you just forget about all those worries that moment like it doesn't have to be so many people most times people feel like the more friends you have the better you feel well it's not about the quantity but the quality sometimes you need to just take a break when life gets overwhelming when life gets too challenging what you just need to do is to take a break if it is that job that is the problem you can take a leave go on a vacation if it is social media that's the problem you can just take a break from social media and just focus on yourself taking a break is very important but what you also do during that break is very 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 important what you should be doing in that time is spend time with yourself do things that make you happy it clears your head and when you come back you come back feeling refreshed and you have more to pour if something happens to you for chance couple of being, life is still going to go on you know so you need to take that break right now because when you come back you will still need everything as it is then get a hobby i feel most of the time we put most of our energy into our work and we don't have any extracurricular activity that we can do outside of that and once that job is taken away we feel like as though a big part of our life has been taken away from us now if you remember this covid period where there was a lot of um, social isolation people weren't exactly doing much and a lot of people actually went into depression during this period because they felt they didn't have any other thing outside that part of their life that could actually keep them busy or make them happy so if you want to be happy you need to have something outside your job that makes you happy something that also keeps you active it could be volleyball basketball it could be in a club a book club it could be taking care of kids there are so many things that you can do outside your job that would make you give you that sense of fulfillment and still make you feel productive so i don't know what the case might be for you so you're going to figure that out go and find out what your hobby is what it is that you can do that even when your job is taken away from you you can still have something that you go back to and that keeps you busy because once you're in active there's a lot of thoughts that comes into your head intrusive thoughts next thing you know you're sleeping into depression make sure that you are sleeping enough most of us are underrating the power of sleep sleep is very important you know after the whole stress of the day your body needs to relax you know to get itself back so if you're not resting if you're not sleeping well you're going to be tired that stress of that day you're just going to carry it to the next day and it makes you less productive you find yourself you know struggling to carry on with the activities of that day so for the sake of your mental health try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep in a day enjoying nature can do more good to your body than ever before if you are feeling drained if you are feeling stressed out then you need to take a walk 
just take a walk in nature most times when i want to clear my head that's what i do i just take a walk i carry my earphones plug my ears and i walk or even if you don't take a walk you can go to maybe a, um, a lake or a beach sit there and enjoy the environment enjoy the atmosphere it helps you um to reduce all that noise in your head and you know makes you feel a little better and finally exercise exercise is really really good for your body because exercise is a very important aspect of your mental well-being so if you're feeling down go for that run or you go to the gym when you're back from that session you know that you have an improved change in mood and you feel better generally so if you can practice all these trust me you won't be struggling with your mental health if there's any more um, tips you have or if you've tried any other things that have helped you in terms of your mental health you can just drop them in the comment section and uh, let's talk let's relate and i really appreciate that thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell because that is when you know when i drop a new video share my video with your friends guys thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye